Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you guys doing today? I am so excited to be here, but I'm always excited to be here to see you. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I have no idea what this video is even about. There is an item in this basket here I honestly do not remember ordering, um, and I'll get into that in a minute. But some other things I have picked up along the way, um, a few things I think were sent to me, a couple things were sent to me. So we're just going to throw that into this video here. And if you're new today, we are so excited that you clicked on today's video, and we really hope that you stick around and hit that subscribe and notification bell to join this amazing family here. All right, you guys, let's get into these products and see what's in this basket. Now, the first thing I am going to be talking about is this cute little palette. Look how adorable this is, you guys. It reminds me uh, of the Elf. It's actually, I think, smaller, but it's by Hard Candy. And I, you know, was at Walmart one day and I, um, I saw it. So I said, well, I'm just going to pick this up. It was like $3, but um, it's called Beer monochrome sh uh, shadows and this one is in the shade I believe it's just called moods but it's a nice neutral palette so we're going to test out this formula and see if it's worth even the three dollars you guys so I'm just going to use my eye primer here uh, those of you you know who have been around and you know know what this is um, I get it through Amazon it's um, a very close dupe to the P. Louise actually I like it better so I'm just going to blend that in with a brush. Okay, so once it's all tapped in, uh, there is a slight tack to that, but it's not as tacky as the P. Louise. That's why I like it a little better. Okay, you guys, let's jump into this cute little palette here. And I think I'm actually just going to start, um, it's going to be a simple look, you guys, but I'm going to start with this darker shade here, um, the shade E. And I'm just going to tap that on a pretty fluffy brush and just put that on the outer corner and let's whoa okay uh, put that on the outer corner and check out this formula so uh, that looks pretty pigmented that's pretty impressive okay you guys you know I'm having a hard time um, and let me tell you why and you know I put out that video the Moira and I was surprised how many people don't even know of that brand um, and I, I can see why, you know, if you're not on Instagram or stuff like that, you probably would not hear much about it. And it is a really good brand. Um, but I was thinking about it and I'm like, you guys know how I love my drugstore makeup. I absolutely love it. But there really has, if you think about it, there really has not been a lot of launches, you know, for me to even try anything um, to speak about. Now, I will say the e.l.f., you know, that glow serum was probably the last um, best thing I think from the drugstore and then there's been a lot of misses that you know I've tested and I don't like you guys that is really pigmented and beautiful <laughs> I'm pretty impressed okay so now I'm going to go into a more fluffy brush I'm always making sure my brushes are clean you guys and we're going to go into the shade A <laughs> so it's this uh, shade here and I'm going to you know, pack that on a brush, tap it off, and just go right above. Ooh, I have way too much. This is pigmented. And I'm just going to go way, you know, right above that deep shade, shade E, and just uh, blend this out, make it really nice and seamless. And you guys, these are blending amazing. Okay, for $3, you know, I'm just trying to compare, you know, compared to like the e.l.f. Um, bite size formulas. Um, it's pretty darn close. If not, I think a little, you guys, this hair, I'm telling you <laughs> from now on, I think I'm going to wear a bun. Um, but I think it almost blends a little better. It's a little more buttery. Now, if the pigment stays, that's the other question. Okay, you guys. And then I think I'm just going to go into it. This is the matte shade here. This bare pack a little bit on here and just put that at the brow whoa okay is that matte or is there a shimmer let me take a look here you guys it might be yeah there is a slight shimmer so whoo okay <laughs> i'm gonna have to wipe that down so yeah it looked matte um in the pan but it's not so i'm just going to blend that out so once i did that that looks fine okay you guys and let's try the shade r here it's a beautiful shimmer so it seems very buttery and that's what that looks like oh my gosh you guys these are really really good i mean look how 
pigmented that is. This is a super pretty palette. Um, I could see myself reaching for this for work on the daily. Okay, so I am going to go back into the first brush and go back into the uh, shade E and just kind of blend in that shimmer with the outer corner. And that is it, you guys. That was super simple. I'm going to hurry up and do my other eye and we're going to move on with these mystery products here. <laughs> Hey you guys, that is super impressive. I really like that palette. Um, really nice. Okay, so I was sent this. I'm supposed to be doing a TikTok review on it, but I'm going to do it here first. Um, but it's through a company. It's called Wing Stamp. Uh, Kaja, I believe it is. And you guys know how I love my Wing Stamp. So we're going to definitely try this out. Does it say anything uh, special about it? No, I don't see anything. If it says if it's waterproof or anything like that. So we're just going to test it out, you guys. Of course, I'm going to have a hard time opening this box. How shocking. Oh, okay, so there's only one. Okay, so it must be all on this one pen. So there is the wing. Ooh, that's pretty um, wingy. <laughs> so, ooh, that's a long wing. Um, I have other wing stamps, and they're usually a little shorter. So this is actually nice to have in the collection. And you guys, oh no, am I missing a pen? Yes, it's in here. Okay, you guys, I was getting concerned. I'm like, um, hmm. So one side is one for one side and the other side is for the other side. Okay, and then it does come with a nice um, lining pen too. So we're just gonna test to see if it is long wearing or waterproof. And this is the tip on that one. Okay, you guys, as I was talking about, you know, drugstore releases, am I missing something? Because like I've told you guys in the past, my drugstores are absolutely horrible. Um, so there might be like a lot of new things I don't even know about. So they are labeled. Um, I was going to... Okay, that was pretty easy. And let's see how easy this pen is. I like the... Um, packaging on this. It's nice and matte, so it's easy to grip. And let's see if it's an easy pen to use. It's a firm um, tip, which you guys know I love. So that was easy. Okay, now the only problem with these stamps is I usually have a hard time making it match. So let's see if this... Um, Makes it a little easier, so I need the left side now, and that is this side. Did I get it even? Uh, hmm. We will see. Let me add this. That usually tells uh, the story. So I like to go backwards, um, you guys. I just find that so much easier for me. And then I just fill in the spaces. Another tip, too. Um, it takes a little use to use your pinky as a rust. Just makes everything a little bit more sturdy for you. And yeah, I like this wing better than this wing. Um, the placement, so that's just something I would have to work on. But like this, you know, you can see it even when I smile. This eye, not so much because the placement, so. I actually like this stamp a lot as well. So that was super easy, you guys. Okay, let's move on to the next products. We're gonna get into the complexion. Um, this isn't new, I'm just gonna use, you know what, no I'm not. No I'm not, because I do have a new product. This I remember ordering. <laughs> it's called No Pore Blem Hybrid Primer. Uh, touch of Soul or Touch Insole. Uh, this is the packaging here. And let's see if it says anything. It just just says extra pore covering, uh, top secret, and <laughs> top secret makeup. Okay, you guys. So let's try this out. Um, I'm just gonna shake it. I actually found mine on Amazon, and I'm going to use maybe a pump and a half to start off with. And let's just try this and fill in. There is a slight scent. I mean, just slight. Um, yeah, and it goes away very quick. It feels very 
almost slick. So that does kind of concern me. Um, it's not like a more dry formula, but it feels really nice. And I like the way it feels. Um, that slickness does concern me. You know, it might have like a silicone, but it does fill in the pores rather nice. Uh, let me take a look at my 10 times mirror. Uh, I'm not seeing a huge um, difference right now, you know, like with my Maybelline Master Blur Stick. Um, I can tell that even without makeup. So we'll see what it looks like with makeup. Um, but I don't, you know, I couldn't tell a huge difference. Okay, you guys. Here comes the mystery uh, product here. <laughs> I don't know if I was drinking and Amazoning or sleeping in Amazon. I don't know, you guys. But I ended up ordering this. I don't know why. And I did order it because it was on my uh, Amazon history. So I thought, well, maybe someone sent it to me. You guys, it's almost scary. So anyway, <laughs> it's called Magical Minerals. And I'm like, okay, let me explain this. The reason why I'm confused why I would have ordered this is number one, I've never heard of this product in my life. Uh, number two, when I went back to look how the heck I got this and why I did, when you look up the shades, there's no like... Okay, medium looks like this color, you know, where you can kind of match it up. There's none of that. So it's like a guessing game. So that shocks me because I don't, I wouldn't normally order something that I can't see compare a shade to. Now, the only other reason why that, you know, why I think possibly I ordered it um, is because on the reviews, there's almost 8,000 reviews and it almost has five stars. So, we're going to try it, you guys. I got the shade Medium. Um, it says, as seen on TV. Okay, you guys. I'm getting a little nervous with myself. It just says, an ultra light spray mineral foundation. I do like my Sephora one. That was, I love that one. Um, I'm hoping that it does perform just as well. Uh, it just says, shake well, hold approximately two to three inches from uh, the brush, blah, blah, blah. We know how to use that. But I'm just trying to see. Um, it just says, super quick and easy. Uh, neutralize imperfections and look years younger. Um, buildable, buildable yet breathable. <laughs> buildable yet breathable. Uh, medium to full coverage. Um, airbrush technique like fashion shows use. And magic mineral pigments uh, to even skin tone. Uh, extra bonus, a kabuki brush. Okay, you guys, let's give this a try. I'm not going to try to. I'm going to try not to ruin, the, ruin this packaging. Just in case, I got to send this back because. I don't know you guys here's the brush the brush is actually really nice um it feels very soft so take a look you guys we're just gonna go for it uh, but here is the packaging here I'm still a little concerned with me um to break seal press down firmly okay <laughs> um well, they are not kidding with this firmly. Holy Moses. Okay, um, if you have arthritis or something, that could be a problem. Okay, um, the shade seems a little yellow, but I can always work with yellow, you guys. Okay, so that was just a little bit of product. So far, so good. Oh, come on. Okay, I hope that uh, spray becomes a little easier because uh, that is a little diff difficult. Okay, I'm not sure if I like this brush. Let me try my e.l.f. one. And I tell you why, I just feel, I don't know. Okay, it's coming out a little easier, so that's a good thing. And I'm going to use my elf. Yeah, the Kabuki brush, I just felt like um, I wasn't getting the product to be in, moved around quick enough for my liking. I like to get things done quickly, you guys. Okay, um, from the monitor, you know, looking right here, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. You guys, with um, these kind of sprays, don't be alarmed that you have to keep going back in and spraying and spraying. Um, you know, I felt the same way with my Sephora, but um, more, you know, little product, 
very little product is actually coming out. Uh, you would be surprised. And I will say, um, there was maybe, I don't know how many shades, you guys, but there was a selection. Um, and what I was breeding, you know, after going back on and trying to find out why the heck I ordered this, uh, light would be, you know, for fair skin, medium. If you have a, a tan, then they had, you know, deeper shades. And some people buy two and they mix it. So... From there, it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to come closer. <sighs> okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. Look at the glow and the coverage. Now, uh, you know, some of this could be coming from the pore filler because I do like how it looks. In this area it is not seeping in the pores so again it could be coming from that um, I, it doesn't look like it's going to settle in my fine lines or wrinkles okay you guys time will tell with this product I will definitely put up either a video at the end of the night or a picture um, to let you guys know <laughs> because that's pretty impressive okay well that could have been the best uh, possibly drunk purchase I've done. I don't know, you guys. Okay, so let's move on. I am going to use um, my Rare Beauty bronzer. I love this bronzer. Um, and I got mine in the shade Happy Soul. It is just so pretty. And the way I like putting this on is just putting it on a brush and then going in instead of trying to paint it on my face. So, ooh, I'm glad I did that. I put way too much on. So... That's what happens, you guys. I start talking, and I'm sitting there. You guys have seen it a hundred times, and I'm tapping into the product. And <laughs> the next thing you know, I go in, and I look like um, one of the Wonkas, you know? It's just crazy. Okay, so I can always go and blend that in. So right now, I am just going to pretty much place this in. And I'm just using what, you know, is on my wrist and going back in. See how beautiful this is? And this does blend very nice too. This is a super pretty product as well. Okay, you guys, I got to fix this hairdo because <laughs> it is just a nuisance here. Okay, so everything is looking really, really nice, you guys. Um, I'm impressed so far. Um, for blush, I think I'm going to use my Rare Beauty too, And this is in the shade... Hope. I think this would go really nice uh, with this. And I also brought down my L'Oreal um, Blush Please. So let me just actually see which one would probably go better with this look. Um, hmm, both would be fine, but I think I'm actually going to try this with it. And if you guys have ever seen the Rare Beauty Hope, um, I'm just going to place a little bit on the back of my wrist. This stuff is super pigmented. You do not need a lot. I would suggest doing it this way than, you know, dotting your cheeks because whew, you can overdo it very quickly. So, in this shade Hope, I find that you can really build up, up build it up. <laughs> okay, you guys, that looks super pretty. I just love how natural looking uh, this is. Yeah, this is really nice. And I might just go over it with this just to set it down. Ooh, Yes. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just going to place a little bit more on the back of my wrist. Really blend that into the brushes. And then for powder, what I brought down, I haven't used this forever. Um, it's actually the Rare Beauty. And the reason why is because I got a kind of a darker shade. Um, it's the light medium. But now that I'm self-tanning, this might work out really well. And what I love about this one is... You know, you can close it. So if you're traveling or something, it's not going to go all over the place. And as you can see, you know, it is, it is a little darker uh, color. So I am going to use my poof poof here and just place a little bit on there and tap that on my wrist and then go in and try to fill these pores in a little bit more. Oh, yeah. See, now this shade matches perfect. Now that I'm uh, self-tanning and I forgot concealer, you guys. So we're going to stop right here. And <laughs> we're going to go into the concealer. 
Okay, so I was sent this. Um, actually, it's a program, you guys, and I think anybody can join this. It's called Actly. Um, or you may have, you might have to have a like a TikTok or Instagram or something like that. So if you have that, um, you can join this. And um, what it is is you can kind of apply, apply to try a, new, a product, and they send it to you. And all you have to do is a TikTok or Instagram. So um, that's how I got this. So anyway, it is a luxury concealer, and this is designed for people 35 and older. So. They don't even suggest if you're, you know, 35 or younger to purchase this. This is designed for mature skin. So I'm super excited to try this. And this is in the shade uh, Neutral Beige. And this has hyaluronic acid in it and collagen. So let's try it, you guys. And what she uh, suggested, because she contacted me personally, is actually put a little bit, in, you know, on your finger and warm it up. Um, because it, that is super thick. I, yeah, that is thick. So you're going to definitely want to warm up this product. And we're going to see how mature friendly this is. Now, I will say when I go in, it feels super, super creamy. Initial placement, it kind of feels like the Charlotte Tilbury. But the Charlotte Tilbury kind of dried down. Where this is staying a little bit more emollient. <laughs> and I don't want to waste anything, so I'm going to to really spread the love here now you guys that feels really really buttery and let's take a look i like the coverage and i do like how it there is like that glow okay i'm not going to set it right away just to see if it's one that i do need to set with powder so right now we're just going to leave it alone so what do you guys think um that's super pretty Okay, and I think the shade was pretty uh, spot on. So let's go back into um, the powder. And let's finish that. And then I am going to take my Anissa brush here. And now I'm just going to go and pretty much just set everything else. You guys, that is a really pretty powder. I do still have a nice glow that comes through. So I'm super happy that I brought this back out. And I'm I should have brought it back out earlier because it is such a nice powder. Again, it just is too deep for me in the uh, winter time. You guys, I am just going to go over this um, Rare Beauty uh, cream blush with this L'Oreal. And this is in the shade, looks like 12 Blushing St. Saint Tope, Saint Topaz. So, uh, yeah, that's super pretty. It just added a little bit more of color there. And I am just going to place a little bit in my shadow here just to tie it all together you guys know how i love doing that so that looks really pretty let's go back into um the eyeshadow palette and fill it finish off the eye look and i am going to just use um the shade e here and the same old thing you guys my little routine place that on the outer corner then with the shade a i am just going to go and smoke that all out. Okay, and to lock everything in place, I am going to use my Makeup, Revolu Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, setting sprays, but I'm actually just going to go in with my sponge today instead of just spraying it all over the face. And I'm just going to go and lightly set everywhere. I love doing it this way. Um, if you're new, um, the reason why I like doing it this way is you can pretty much you know pinpoint where you want this to go so I'm not going to set under the eyes you guys I'm just going to use the setting or yeah setting spray just to see how it lasts without being a uh, set because I didn't see much creasing um, at this point okay and for mascara I brought down my item I haven't used this in a while um, and this is just a lengthening uh, mascara again by item and what I like about it is look how tiny uh, the brushes on that it actually makes it super easy to work with so I'm just gonna hurry up and curl my lashes and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like after the first coat okay before I do my mascara I forgot I did bring down a highlighter I do want to use a highlight and I brought my, down my uh, Jaclyn Hill one here and this is in the shade iced this is such a beautiful packaging it's a beautiful highlighter I actually got this in the 21 days sale uh, Ulta uh, last year so I haven't used this in a while, so I definitely want to bring this out and put it to use. See how pretty? It's just very 
uh, subtle. So yeah, that is just a pretty a highlighter and it does not accentuate my fine lines or wrinkles okay you guys I changed my mind I will put one layer on the lashes just so you guys can see how this works but as you can see the how tiny this brush is but it does make it pretty easy to work with but look at that I mean it really does provide nice length and volume and separation of the lashes and you can get really close to the base here because the wand is so tiny don't you guys hate that when you get an eyelash right on <laughs> the brush and it really just drives you crazy okay so that is one coat here um super nice so i'm going to hurry up and do the other eye actually do two coats and i'll come back and show you what it looks like then Okay, you guys, so that is after two coats, after poking my eye out. <laughs> I got myself good, you guys. So hopefully I didn't scratch the cornea. Uh, but yeah, no, this is a wonderful mascara. I really do like it. Okay, you guys, and then for lips, um, I actually got another Essence lip liner. And this is in the shade Just Perfect. You guys, if any lip liner you ever want to try, try the Essence because they're retractable you don't have to sharpen them they do have a little sharpener uh, on the other side you know if you just want to make that a little bit more pointy um, but they're super creamy they go on so nice and they last forever and um i can put this on in like just a lip gloss and it lasts for hours and these are said to be waterproof as well so let's test that out yeah, that is a really pretty color, too. Um, I'm super glad I got those <laughs> those shades. Um, and then for the lipstick, I got the Juvia's Place. I've had this for a little bit, and I just haven't been able to test it yet. But I love their packaging. It's super pretty. It has that ombre look. And this is in the shade Me. And it has, like, that matte feel, too. Uh, and this is the shade here. And I love how uh, this is shaped. So let's try this, sh uh, this shade and see how well... It works with this liner. Ooh, it's super creamy. It's like a satin formula. Mmm. Mmm. There's, <laughs> I think I got my nose. But there's like a sweet scent to this. I can't place it, but it, it smells familiar. Um, But yeah, I like that. Oh, and that really does look good uh, with this look. Let's test uh, this waterproof action um, on the liners and the lip, the lip liner. And unfortunately, I don't have my uh, spray bottle down here, so I'm just going to take a paper towel. I got a bottle of water here, and I'm going to, whoa, <laughs> really soak that, I guess. And we're just going to place some water on the back of my hand. I am making a complete mess here. And let this sit for a minute, and let's try this out. But it didn't claim to be waterproof. I didn't see that on the box, but that's a bummer. And let's try this lip liner. Definitely waterproof, the lip liner. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I can't even wipe that away with my <laughs> tissue here. So uh, that is definitely waterproof. Okay, to fix that here, dude, before we moved on, it would have been an eyesore. Okay, so let's talk about the products, the new products. Um, I really love this little palette, you guys. These are wonderful for $3, maybe $4. And um, again, I think I kind of like the formula of this one better than the e.l.f. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It could be a fluke. Um, I like that. I like this pore filler. Uh, let me take a look. Like I said, it looked pretty smooth through here. Um, I couldn't tell without makeup, but with makeup, yeah, it does look like my pores are pretty filled. So um, I do like that a lot. I'm going to continue wearing it. I'll let you guys know um, like if it got super greasy through the day or if things started slipping around. But again, like I'm going to try to really take a picture at the end of the night or a video and we'll take a look then too. I love this. I think, you know, it is the best mistake purchase I've ever, or purchase I don't remember <laughs> making, making. Uh, this is beautiful, you guys. I mean, look at my complexion right now. It, it's pretty nice. Um, super impressive. 
I do like this concealer as of right now. I think it's super hydrating. Um, it looks really nice under the eyes. And I love this lipstick that I got. I love the scent of it. There's something that reminds me of something, but mm, I just love it. And the nude lip liner, so this is good. Everything else I know I love. Um, I'm super glad I brought out the Rare Beauty again. And yeah, you guys, um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products, products, especially this here, because this is a mystery. Let's see, um, I think this will go out Thursday, so I'll see you guys on Monday. I can't wait till then. I love you so much, and until next time.